everybody. If y'all are doing well. We're out here in the pit today for another tire test slash comparison. Uh, gonna start off with a bit of a story here. Um, so I'll put a little time slip down here at the bottom if you want to skip forward to just the driving portion. But a little bit of backstory with these tires here. So when I built uh, the Wraith 1.9 uh, and the, a portal rig with the capper axles, I wanted to put some more aggressive tires on it and what really caught my eye was the Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X. So at that point in time, the only Mickey Thompsons that were available were RC four wheel drive. So that's what I went with. Uh, about a week later, they showed up. I was all excited, put them on the rig. And as I was charging the battery to go out and run, I saw a video on YouTube where Proline had just released their version of the Baja Pro X. That was a kick in the gut before I even got to run the RC four wheel drive tires. And then I actually ran them and it was a humongous disappointment. Um, they, they felt pretty gummy and soft out of the package, but I'm not sure if it's the really gummy and soft treads and a hard carcass of the tire or vice versa, but they were just garbage. I mean, they didn't do any better on the rocks than your average RTR tire. So that kind of spoiled these, or, you know, spoiled, I, I kind of tainted these tires for me, I guess. And I never bought a set of the Pro Lines, um, even though I've heard good things about them from all sides of the internet. Um, I just never spent the money on them. I found the crawlers and I stuck with them. And they're great tires. But a few weeks ago, I picked up a second Capra four-wheel steer. And it had a set of Proline Mickey Thompsons on it. Um, I did not get any information from the guy about them. But just judging by the feel of them, they're definitely G8 compound. They're not Predator. Uh... So, I, I've been wanting to do this ever since I got my hands on these tires and finally got a chance to do it today. So, that's what we're doing. We're putting RC four-wheel drive up against Proline. Um, I've got the weight and the foam set up as close as I can get between the two. Um, so, we're just gonna go at it um the only difference uh, as far as i can tell is the pro line mickey thompson's are just a little bit taller than the rc four-wheel drive um other than that they seem to be the same width so yeah we're gonna pick a few obstacles around the pit um, some easier obstacles that every tire should be able to do no problem and some much harder obstacles that most tires have issues with and we're we're gonna see just uh how much better pro line is than rc four-wheel drive i do have a bit of a preconceived notion here um, because i've put a decent little bit of wheel time on the rc four-wheel drives not so much on the pro lines and i haven't run either of them on this particular rig here so yeah 
I'm going to give it my best shot to uh, try to follow at least as closely as I can to the same lines. But I'm going to run all obstacles with one set of tires and then I'll swap tires and run them all again with the second set. So, you know, if you crawl, you know how hard it is to hit exactly the precise line you hit. But I'm going to do my best to try to make this an even matchup. And uh, I'll, I'll let the video proof speak for itself. I don't really have a dog in this fight other than the fact that I just ordered the wrong set of tires a little bit too soon, I guess. <laughs> but we're going to start out with the RC four-wheel drives. So we'll see what they got. So for these tests, we'll do... Uh, do some rocks and we'll also do some dirt and gravel as well um, just because these are an aggressive tire and I feel like they're probably more at home in the looser dirt and stuff like that but while we're on the rocks I'm gonna try to slow crawl everything just so we can get a real good look at pure traction so we had uh, had some slip there, and I'm getting a little bellied out here. These tires say 475, but I don't believe it. They are uh, definitely just a little bit short. here we're uh, diffed out pretty good so got to adjust my angle of approach to get over that these tires definitely do a lot more slipping than they do gripping that's for sure Another note, um, I did have, I'll see if I can find it here real quick and then uh, I'll pop back in once I do. Okay, I found it. So, uh, it's been about a year now uh, since it happened and I fixed it, but I'm not still not sure what did it or when exactly it happened, but at some point or another, I'm sure you should be able to see uh, this goofy line right here and then uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there or not but anyways clear whoa from the sidewall clear up under this tread and then back around to the sidewall again uh, this tire actually ripped out pretty bad like ripped out so bad that I had to uh, had to glue it a couple different times and I actually took uh, a couple layers of rubber cement and it's got some uh, gorilla tape with some more rubber cement on the inside of it just to keep it held together I mean it's been holding up pretty good since that happened but that's the first tire that I've like fully like blown out ripped. So we'll give uh, give a good grip test here with the drag brake on a pretty decent incline, just wiggling the servo. I'm in a pretty decent little hole right there. I'm not going to count that. I just want you to see the wrinkle in the tire and that notch. 
So we'll get out of that notch. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed with these tires when I bought them. That's for damn sure. And that sucks, because they are a really good looking tire. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what exactly is so different between the RC four wheel drive version and the Proline version. But I just think that these ones look a little better so coming up through these first couple sections of rocks here um, it's mostly going to be checking for you know hang ups and div clearance and maybe if you get hemmed up somewhere you'll get a tire wedged but this is all really easy stuff that you know, even RTR tires should have no problem with at all. Now, like right here, my back axle is diffed out and the front doesn't have enough to pull it. And we're not diffed out that bad like we're on the downslope of that rock that it's hung up on. If I didn't have four-wheel drive, I would have had to reverse right there. So this is a good gut check right here for belly clearance. And yet again, another spot where if I didn't have four-wheel steer, rigs get hung up there pretty bad. Man, I gotta get moving. It's starting to get dark pretty quick. Yeah, not get dark, but the sun's going down pretty quick. And this spot here is not difficult by any means, but I remember having a hell of a time every now and again trying to get at the bite to go up on the little plastic bridge right there it grabbed right there so that's a plus see if it can keep traction once it gets to the river rock on top pull the rear up yeah see like right there there's no reason to spin tires like that on pretty much flat ground just on some river rock and not even big ones at that all right we're going to turn up the heat here real quick thought about taking it easy on them but we're just going to go straight for hard line and then we'll go do some dirt stuff and then we'll swap tires i can honestly say that i did pull the bottom three quarters of hard line with the Wraith 1.9 and the Hyrax. That was before I had the crawlers or anything else. And I could never get past uh, this big chunk of asphalt up here with these tires. So we'll see if uh, an actual Capra and four wheel steer can do any better with these things. They just don't, didn't ever have the grip. And uh, when I did that portal conversion on the race, uh, I had the suspension geometry not in optimal condition, we'll say. But right where it is right now is uh, just about as far as these tires ever made it. Usually they would either uh, grab on that back tire on the passenger side and roll over backwards or just sit and spin.
pretty much exactly like that right there. You really have to work all four corners of this thing with these tires to get any sort of bite. Okay. Before we crest over that log there, because that's a danger spot, I'm gonna move the camera closer. So usually on everything, I try to get the passenger rear tire to crest this log on that side of this nub right here. Because if it comes down on this side of that nub, you will slide all the way down this log clear to the camera. And if your rig is set up right and you manipulate the steering and the throttle just right, you can ride it all the way down, but more times than not, you'll just roll right on over. And I don't know if these are gonna have the bite to do it. Oh, keep it. No, oh, just barely. That could not have been any closer. This thing's probably got about a snowball's chance in hell at getting the top of hard line, but we have to try. Listen to that lug noise. Like, they want to grab, but it's just so soft and gummy that once it does start to grab, they just collapse and fucking roll over. Really frustrating. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was about a battle and a half. I need to stay on the high side of that rock, otherwise I'm not going to stand a chance. Well, they have honestly made it a lot further than I thought that they were going to, so maybe I got my lucky leaf hubcap there. That's got to be it. Go. 
forgot completely about the camera. I hope you can still see that. It is fighting for traction one nub at a time. find just the right pressure on all four corners where it wants to bite well, too far and if I take off running I'll come back to you I think I just heard something down in the Yep. One of these critters down in the hole is making noise. So if I bail, I'll come back for you. I promise. Freaking way. Oh, don't fail on me now. Come on. You are right there. Wow. I did not see that coming at all. RC four wheel drive Baja Pro X miraculously just pulled hard line. Holy moly. So even though it made it up, coming down should be fun because I know these things don't have the traction to hold it on the way down. Try to take it nice and slow. Don't know if it's going to work. It's already starting to slide. Try to turn those back tires and get them locked into that ledge there. If I can keep them on top of those concrete pads. Ooh, that was a bad slide, but it stayed where I wanted it to. All right. Well, it was a battle, but it did it. Let's go find some dirt. So I don't really have any good way to really measure how well these tires are gonna do compared to each other here, aside from if one makes it and one doesn't, but this is some really loose gravel that uh, the critters kicked out of a hole up there on top. So it's good and loose with a little bit of hard pack underneath and it's on a pretty decent incline. So I guess we'll try to uh, slowly claw our way up this thing and uh, see how it does. And then once we get to the point where we can't claw no more, then we'll start to lay the beans to it. They're digging already.
think that that's about as far as these are gonna go. I'd say it made it about three quarters of the way up. But we are uh, completely bellied out and sitting in some pretty deep holes. So, I don't think we need to mark anything. I think we got a pretty good idea on how far this one made it. With the smooth belly indentation and everything. So, we'll go get the uh, pro lines, throw them through the same ringer, and see how they do. Well, since we're on our way back to the other tires, we may as well try this line here. It's uh, not the most difficult, but definitely not the easiest. And you never know, this could be a deciding factor, so we may as well hit it on the way back. back tire hung up under that undercut there okay so this would be a good spot to see it's got that back tire hooked on that undercut and i'm gonna steer into it as i pull up this thing and let's see if it sticks oh i hope that showed up on camera you can just watch those nubs just collapse and fold up under. You see that? Oh, this is hard to do. Driving four wheel steer and recording at the same time. Hopefully you can see them collapsing and just rolling up under. Every now and again, they'll get a hook. I'm bellied out pretty bad here. I think I got too far off the line while I was, hello. Oh, that'll make things a little more interesting. I got a little offline while I was trying to show these tires miserably failing Traction here. Oh, we're going off the rails. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't think I can get back out of that. We shot clear out on the very edge of this thing, clean off of the slide. 
Um, hmm. See if I can crab back onto it, I guess. Get this tire to hook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can honestly say that that is an approach that I have never taken before on that particular line. So, we will keep that one in mind. And I will grab the pro lines. And we'll give them a shot and see how they stack up. Okay, now we've got the Pro-Line Mickey Thompson tires. These are in the G8 compound. So, we give them a run, see how they do. I think the only slippage that I had there was just from the uh, overdrive. They climbed up that pretty good. And they are holding pretty decent. Ooh, we're getting some slippage now. But no rear steer needed. Okay. I'm going to try to pull the rear end right over top of this pointy rock here. About the same that I did with the other ones. That pumpkin right in the center of it. touches but pulls over these tires are definitely a little bit taller These are sliding, but, and I don't know that there's any way for me to really get this, you know, properly conveyed through the, through the phone, but when you're wiggling the servo, you can just feel that these are sticking to the rock a lot better. Obviously, especially with a servo as powerful as this Three Brothers servo is, I mean, it's going to slide, but it's sticking way better to the rock. So, definitely points on that one. I mean, these tires aren't like, you know, ginormous in comparison to the other ones, but they just look so much bigger. Um, I know that they're the same width, 
I definitely did not take the same line. But close enough. They're definitely the same width as the RC four wheel drives. These are just a little bit taller. And the profile of these tires is like the the tread where it touches the ground is uh quite a bit flatter as well i don't remember where i had the camera set here but we're still rocking the same one but those rc four-wheel drive tires even on the same size like exactly the same size they've got the same width the same everything as these but those tires they kind of bubble out in the center of the the tread whereas these ones are more flat so they're a lot blockier and I think that just makes them look a lot wider keep hearing squirrels running around in the leaves up on top of the hill over there I'm telling you that skunk a few days ago it it scarred me I was face to face with that sucker I don't want none of that and we're heading right back up to the hole that that skunk went in Like I said, I've uh, I've not run these tires on this rig yet, so this is a first. Um, I did run them on the Ecto a couple times, so I know how they did on that. But it's uh, it's a whole different ball game running the tire on a four wheel steer rig, <laughs> or even just a portal rig uh, compared to a straight axle rig. Get up here a little closer. Probably should have marked out the spots where I had the camera set so I could do some legitimate comparison angles, but it is what it is. I swear every every tire prefers a different line going up this uh, asphalt chunk here. It's weird how uh, different tires, you know, even tires of the same size vary so much in their traction profile. I mean, for just being tiny truck tires. Definitely a lot of difference. Okay, now we'll get moved up and see how it does on the nub. I still cannot believe that those uh, RC four wheel drive tires made hard line. That just absolutely blows my mind. Well, these pro lines definitely pulled that line a heck of a lot easier. Over the tree there and over the nub. And they maintained the high line. Getting up to the top of hard line here. Blast them through the leaves. Now to the hard part. The hard part slash 
sketchy part since here I am face to face with the skunk den again and I mean literally face to face like it's four feet away from my face at this point in time and we're coming up on uh, dark it's about time for them to start coming out that's just a sketchy feeling Gotta find where these tires want to climb. Right there. Wow. Well, they made that first section look a lot oh my goodness holy moly these things just climb I'm speechless these just climb the top of hard line just as easy as the crawlers and or the ruptures like as much as I was impressed at the RC four-wheel drive ones got hung up on a stick. Oh, premature dirt climb. But as much as I was impressed with RC four-wheel drives for even making it up that after a serious battle, these things just walked it. As far as I'm concerned, Let's see how they do coming down. Try to keep them in line. Nice. And this mount. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to end up hitting the camera there. But still. Very impressed. Skunk hole, skunk hole, skunk hole. Sketchy. Okay, time for the dirt climb. I wonder how far we gotta make it before we can beat the other tires. Might have to review the tapes. other tires made it to right there before they had to stay. yep same spot as far as the slow crawl goes probably a little on the unfair side since I'm running directly where the other ones ran so it's even looser all this dirt that it's on right now has already been kicked up and dug out. Probably should have made them take two different lines side by side. That's probably on me. everything out man these dug down deeper quicker that's for sure <laughs> yeah that one's my bad I screwed that all up I should have made two separate lines side by side from the beginning but if we just judge solely based on how quickly and deeply they dug well that's a no-brainer there Pro lines on the right, 
RC four wheel drive on the left. I don't know if there's any way for me to really show depth here. Those are way deeper. I don't know. I guess they're similar on dirt, uh, but the pro lines definitely dig harder. That's for sure. I can't really call it there other than these dug deeper holes quicker. So I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. We'll go hit the last couple climbs here and tally them up. So I know that these tires made this particular climb with the Ecto. Um, granted, I did knock one of the rocks off of there with the last set of tires so that changes things but if these made it up on the ecto i don't see why they wouldn't make it up with this i mean really where's your line at bud find it that's aggressive, but okay. Okay. Well, at least I can say that I got over it real far left with this one, just like I did with the last one. I think we're in about the same spot. And the fact that it's lifting like that and not just rolling the tire up under, I think should speak volumes for traction. Okay, I think this would be a good spot to try to... Let me flip the camera over. So this ought to be a good spot to try to show you the lugs. Hopefully you can see that. This is so hard to do while I'm trying to drive four wheel steer and record. But you can see how these, these lugs, they just bite and slip. They don't collapse and roll up under like the RC four-wheel drives did. Fight for it. Fight for it. No, 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 don't lose it. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, you got it. Yeah. Well, I think that was pretty decisive. What do you say we go for a little bonus climb here before it gets completely dark? Just because I feel like these did way better, we're gonna go ahead and try this crazy little climb here. I don't know if they'll do it or not, but we're gonna try. Oh, buddy. The fact that they're spinning already is probably not a good sign. Hear something moving in the leaves.
hard for life, man. It's gotta just be squirrels, but that skunk really screwed me up. Come on, bite. Bite. Bite it. You got it. It's right there. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. No, 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 it was up on top. right there but it doesn't quite have the bite to do it I'll try dropping the driver's side front end and seeing if it'll climb up on that side but I don't think so a shot but anyways not a bad run for the pro lines well all in all that was uh quite a bit closer of a competition than i thought it was gonna be um as horrible as the rc four-wheel drives did when i bought them um you know, I I kicked myself in the in the nuts a few times for buying them, you know, a week or two before Proline dropped theirs. But uh, uh, now I'm not really so upset about it. Um, I do believe that the Prolines did a fair bit better, but. I don't believe that they did so much better that, uh, you know, I feel like I've missed out on something phenomenal. Um, either way, they're, they're a fantastic trail tire. Um, in my opinion, if you got a trail truck that sometimes hits the rocks, awesome tires, either one of them. Uh, but if you're going to be a rock crawler that sometimes hits the trails, there are far better options. Um, these are damn good looking tires. And maybe at some point, I wouldn't mind trying out the Predator compound. But uh, so far as the G8 compound goes, I've never had really good luck with anything in G8. So... I don't know, but so far as this tire test comparison, whatever you want to call it, goes, 
uh, Pro Line versus RC four wheel drive. Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X uh, winner's gonna go to the Pro Lines. The big beefy guys. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions, want to see something else with these or anything um i would say i could put them up against my preferred tires but that just wouldn't be fair uh the crawlers would walk all over both of these and the ruptures obviously would as well so i think this is where uh the journey ends as they say with these uh Maybe we'll get them back out in the snow and uh, see how they stack up in some wet, and snowy, and muddy conditions. Kind of where they're better suited, probably. But hope you enjoyed. Hope y'all have a good one. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later.